Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Alina and I am your Russian teacher. Today we're gonna discuss a very confusing but important topic. The words стоять, лежать, висеть plus the words класть, ставить, вешать. They are all connected, so it'll make more sense if you take them all in one video. And I have here a lot of interesting stuff that will help you to understand the topic easily and that will make our lesson more interesting. And now let's start. Okay, let's take the first three words. Стоять, лежать, висеть. All of them will describe the place of the object, where it's situated. In Russian, we use these words. Literally, you will translate them as стоять – to stand, лежать – to lie, to lay, and висеть – to hang. In English, you don't say it like this. You're not saying book stands on the table. You're just saying book is on the table. But we do. We say it like book stands on the table. For you now, it can seem illogical, weird, but that's what we do. And we will learn it today. And let's start with the first two words, because they are the most confusing. Стоять and лежать. We will use them depending on the shape of the object. For example, let's take the first object that I have here, стакан. Стакан стоит на столе. So, I used the word стоять. The word стоять describes the place of a vertical object. So, if it's vertical, if it stands on its own and I'm not helping it, then it's perfect. I can use the word стоять with such object. Then, the second object that we will use, книга, Godfather, nice book. So, this one also can stand on the table, like this, right? Книга стоит на столе. Again, I'm not helping it, it's стоит на столе. Then, the second verb, лежать. And now the question for you, tricky question. Can we use the same object using both verbs? Стоять и лежать. Of course we can. Because, again, same example, right? Книга стоит на столе. It's perfect. But what is it doing now? I put it on the table horizontally. And if I put the object on something horizontally, it'll be Лежать. So, right now, книга лежит на столе. You see, such little details, but you need to pay attention to them. Also, we will use лежать if we describe how we put the object in the box. So, inside another object, for example. If I put this book in the box, I will say книга лежит в ящике. And now let's take another object and you will tell me what is it doing. Тарелка. So tell me please, тарелка стоит на столе или тарелка лежит на столе? I always ask tricky questions, remember that. And unfortunately, тарелка стоит на столе. Even if you think, okay, but it's more horizontal than vertical, how can it be that it's standing on the table? I don't know. <laughs> it's just the thing that you need to remember. Тарелка стоит на столе. And now let's practice a little bit. I'm going to show you objects, random objects, and you will tell me if it's standing, yeah, if it's стоит, or if it's лежит на столе. For example, let's start with this little ball. Мячик or мяч. Мяч. Мяч лежит на столе. Right now, actually, мяч лежит на тарелке. Да? Or в тарелке. Kind of inside. Then, let's take 
Cream. Cream. Крем стоит на столе. Or крем стоит на тарелке. But I want to do this. Сейчас крем лежит на тарелке. Nice. And let's take a few more. Little David. Мой маленький Давид. Что он делает? Давид стоит на столе. That's correct. And the last two. I think this will be easy, but... Вилка и ложка. Вилка и ложка. Что они делают? Вилка и ложка лежат на столе. You see? This one, I think, was easy because... They are not able to stand. Yeah, even if I put them vertically, they cannot stand on their own. I should help them. So that's why the verb стоять is impossible to use with these two objects. Very good job. Okay, and now, if you remember, at the beginning we have three verbs. Стоять, лежать, plus висеть. Visit is the easy one, very easy to remember how to use it, because visit in English is to hang. And logically, that will be for objects that hang on the wall or, for example, hang in the closet, like your clothes. Your clothes will be одежда висит в шкафу, always. And here, let's take, for example, paintings, right? So, paintings. Сейчас картина стоит на полке, right? So, now it's kind of standing on the shelf. But if I put it like this, картина висит на стене. So you see, it should just hang on something. And like this, висеть, it's not the complicated verb. You just remember that it's always something that hangs on the wall or in the closet. Perfect. Congratulations, we made it. So we took the first part of our lesson. Now, let's go back to three verbs more. But unfortunately, here I'll give you six, because each of these verbs will have the second form, perfective aspect. Like this, we have класть, положить. Remember that sometimes imperfective and perfective can be really different from each other, so you just need to Remember them. Learn them by heart. There is no way to guess how to form the second form. Then, ставить, поставить, вешать, повесить. Okay. And here, as I said, these two are imperfective and perfective. And if you don't know how to use them correctly, I'll explain you quickly. Imperfective verbs we will use to describe the process of the action. And the second one, perfective, will be for the fact, for the finished action. So, the action that you finished. If you want to learn more about aspects of the verbs, I have a course on Udemy and you can study there in two hours and a half, practice it and to understand the logic of using these verbs, if it's still complicated for you, because that's actually one or probably the most complicated topic in the Russian language. Okay, and now let's go back to our verbs. Класть и положить. The first one, let's talk about this one now. And here we will need the information that we learned before about the verbs стоять, висеть, лежать. Because the verbs класть, положить, we will use the same way as the verb лежать. Like this. Let's take again our phone. Yeah? Телефон. Телефон. Actually, we didn't take it before, right? <laughs> so, телефон. Let's put it on the table. Сейчас телефон лежит на столе. Right? So, телефон лежит на столе. Perfect. Then, I'm taking it. And what am I doing? Look attentively to what I'm doing and at my actions. So, я кладу, 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 кладу телефон на стол и я 
положила телефон на стол. Let's go back. Я кладу. At first I said. Кладу. That's the word. Класть. Yeah, it's conjugation. Be careful, it's a little bit different from the infinitive. Я кладу. Imperfective verbs describe the process. Logically, yeah. I was. I am. In the process of putting my phone on the table. Right? So it's not like really quick action that I just... Okay, I put it. No. I'm in the process. Still, I'm in the process. Я кладу телефон на стол. Imperfective verb. Я положила телефон на стол. Past tense. Because obviously, yeah, I put it there. So I finished my action. And it cannot be present. Perfective verbs. They don't have present. Remember that. So, я положила телефон на стол. Nice. Then, what else? Книга. Я кладу, 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 кладу книгу на стол. Я положила книгу на стол. Yes. Same logic. Кладу, кладу, кладу. Process. Положила. That's finished action. Okay. That's the verbs. Класть, положить. Now let's take the verb ставить, поставить. Same logic as the word стоять for vertical placement. Стакан. Я ставлю, 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 ставлю стакан на стол. Я поставила стакан на стол. Сейчас стакан стоит на столе. Everything is logical. A little bit tricky, maybe a little bit illogical at the same time, but it's very necessary to understand this little logic that it has. Okay, what can we do next? Крем, да? Я ставлю, 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 ставлю крем на стол. Я поставила крем на стол. Сейчас крем стоит на столе. Okay. And the last verb, as we can guess, вешать. Повесить, that's to hang something on the wall or in the closet, as we remember. Again, let's go back to our paintings. Сейчас картина стоит на полке. Но я беру картину и я вешаю, 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 вешаю картину на стену. Оп, я повесила картину на стену. Let's imagine that I did it, because I cannot do it. My painting doesn't have any hangers. But я повесила картину на стену. Again, right? Вешаю, вешаю, вешаю. Process of the action. Я повесила. I finished the action. And that's it. That's all you need to know about these verbs. Let's go back to the first three. If you have a question, why didn't we have two forms for those verbs? Sometimes, very rarely, but in Russian we have the verbs that don't have a second form. As you can guess, стоять, лежать, висеть, they don't have a perfective form. Maybe you're lucky here. <laughs> the only good news for this video. Okay, and to be able to use all these words in your daily conversations, Practice. Practice a lot. Take any random object in your room or take as many objects as possible and just practice all these three verbs with them. Like you can do computer, yeah, computer or notebook. You take notebook, you think, okay, notebook, kind of vertical, right? Actually, it's vertical. We use it as vertical at least. So you use first, I am putting yeah like in the process it's weird in english but in russian it's normal believe me я ставлю 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 ноутбук на стол я поставила ноутбук на стол yeah already two verbs imperfective first perfective next and сейчас ноутбук стоит на столе practice like this with perfectly each object in your room. And like this, you'll be an expert in these verbs. Because actually, it's very important to know how to use all these verbs. We use them 
really a lot. All Russian native speakers, you will hear these verbs a lot. And if you don't know how to use them correctly, it'll be for you really weird first to hear and then to use them. You'll be speaking not naturally if you don't use these four words. Of course, you can say notebook на столе, стакан на столе, телефон на столе. Yeah, it's also fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a mistake. It's perfect sentence. Uh, phone on the table is on the table. Laptop is on the table. Why not? But if you want to sound like a real native, then you should use these words. If you're not sure what word to use with any object, like тарелка, yeah, we had тарелка. What is it? Why is it standing? And you have the same question about any object in your room. You can always ask me, you can write me on Telegram or on Instagram, and I'm gonna answer you which verb we will use with this object. Okay, I hope this video, this lesson was really helpful for you and you enjoyed it. I'll be happy to see you on my courses or on my individual lessons. So if you're interested, just contact me also on Telegram or on my Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and learn Russian with me.